Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Reference Channel. Today, in this video, we are going to connect my YouTube channel and fetch the playlist and insert into the database with the help of Oracle integration. Meaning, I am connecting the YouTube using Oracle integration, will fetch the playlist and will put it into the database. So guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates and click on a bell icon to get updates. Now, let us start. First of all, let us understand the architecture of, of this use case. What is the complete flow? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a Oracle integration. In that Oracle integration, I will connect to the YouTube with the help of REST adapter and will use the YouTube data API and will fetch all the playlist. Once I have all the playlist, I can play with those playlist and we can send those playlist anywhere, wherever I want. But for this use case, I am connecting to the Oracle cloud database and pushing all our fetched playlist from my YouTube channel into the DBAS. But instead of DBAS, you can push this playlist somewhere else as well. Or you can use the unique playlist ID to fetch the videos inside the playlist and you can post those playlists on your social accounts like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. etc. Now, to achieve this use case, what all we need, since we need to connect to the YouTube and YouTube is part of Google. We need a project to be created into the Google Cloud Console. I will show you how to do this. You need a Google API key, which will be used to create the REST connection. You need the YouTube data API that will be enabled in the Google project that will help us to get the playlist. We need the Oracle DB Cloud instance wherein we will put all the playlist and of course we need the oracle integration instance wherein i will do this complete automation that is what we need to complete this use case so guys please be with me till the end of this video so that you can understand all those steps now let me take you to the console and going to show you everything in action so here First of all, what we need, we need a REST connection to be created, which will connect to my YouTube channel and will fetch the playlist. So for this, we need a Google Cloud project to be created in a Google Cloud console. So make sure you have logged in. I have already there and I have created a project called YouTube API. Let me refresh this console. And if you need to log in, make sure you use this console.cloud.google.com and you will be landed onto the home page. From there, you can start creating a new project. Okay. Now, so you see here YouTube API. This is the already created project and this is a selected project. If you want to create a new project, you please click here and click on a new project wherein you will see this screen project name and then location. If you want to give any location, you can do this. Let's say uh, demo project. And then you can provide the location of your organization. And this is mandatory browse. I can do browse. Okay, let's say no organization and click on a create button. Now here you can see the project will be created soon and it will be selected. Okay, here you can see the project and you will see demo project is there. Now, the project is already there. Now the project has been created already. Now, project has been created. The first prerequisite is completed. The second prerequisite, we need to create the credentials, meaning the API key, which will be used to create the connection. So you can click on a create credential. You can authenticate. Google APIs via the API key mechanism, the auth client ID and service account. There are three options. So for this, 
we are going to use this API key. So here you see the API key will be created and will be visible, which you can use to connect. So I can copy it and I can copy it later as well. Simply close it. Now you see your API key has been created. This is the second thing. The third is you need to enable the YouTube API. Otherwise you will never be able to use this. So here you search, you sorry, click here, enable and search your YouTube data API. You need to enable this YouTube data API three in the project, which you have just created to use those API anywhere. And you click on a enable. If this is, this is not enabled, you will get a error there. So here the APIs will be enabled soon. And you see it is enabled. YouTube data API will be enabled. Now, these are the things which we need in a Google cloud. Now I am going to use the existing one YouTube API, wherein I have enabled this API already. I have the credential as well. Now I am going to connect this Google project in my integration using the rest adapter I already have created for you. So let me go to here and go to this connection. And here I have one called Google API with the help of rest adapter, Google API, wherein this is the rest adapter of invoke type connection type is rest API base URL connection URL is HTTPS colon slash slash YouTube dot Google APIs dot com. And then, and then we need the security since I have, I have created the API key. So I'm using API key based authentication. And here I have given my API key. So this is the API key, which I have used. And then since this API key needs to send in a query parameter, I am, it's asking, how do you want to use this API key? So since this is a query parameter after question mark, the key, the parameter name, equals to dollar and this API key. And my, I can use this test connection to connect to my YouTube and pass the playlist. Since I have created into my, my account, I can connect to my YouTube channel and get the playlist. Now, if you want, let me discard it. If let me go here. So you see this is a playlist, right? This is the APIs, which you can test as well. You see playlist. API list and you can click on this and you can try this on your own as well. You need to send part as a mandatory parameter, the channel ID, the my channel ID. Let me put my channel ID here. This is my channel ID and how many results you need and other parameter and simply watch which credentials you want to use. I'm going to use this API key only and execute and here you can see it will show you all the playlists which I have there. You see Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Getting Started is one of the playlists in my YouTube channel. I will show you there as well. And the another one is Oracle APAC. So it will fetch all these things. You see Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Oracle Cloud Taxifer, not this guy. and achievements. Let me show this and you see achievements, Oracle Integration Cloud and APAX is here. We have all those playlists. Almost I have a 10 playlist, which I'm going to fetch and will put it into my DBAS. Now, my connection is ready and Oracle DBAS I already have, which we have created in one of the videos. You can look at this. Now, I am going to create a scheduler here, which will fetch all the playlist. Fetch YouTube playlist. And I'm going to create a new integration. Now, what I need to do, I need to use the Google API, this thing, and let's see, fetch 
queue play list and what is the endpoint related resource URI? You can take it from there. You can see show code and you see youtube.googleapis.com. This is the base URL we have configured in the REST adapter. And I will take this from here and will put it here. Oh, sorry. And then this is the get. I'm going to add some review parameter and configure this endpoint to receive the response. And let's say fetch playlist and click on the next button. I'm going to add three fields. One is part is a mandatory. If you see here, the, the part is mandatory. And second is the channel ID. I'll copy the same thing. This is my again a string and I'm going to add one more, which is like my max result by default. It will give 25, not sorry, three, but I am saying I want 25. That's a end answer. Next, I will copy the sample response, which I already have. Let me copy a sample response and then, okay. Next and then finish. Okay, now here what I need, I need to uh, configure the part, create target node. Part is nothing what all you need in your response, like a snip, a snippet and content details, meaning you see one is a snippet is there. You see a snippet, this you need and you need the content details as well, meaning how many videos you have in this playlist. So that is what you need. I am going to copy the same and will paste it here. And then I need the channel ID. Channel ID I also have here. Let me copy this. and then max is that. Let me say 50. So this will give me all the playlist validate and then close. And then I'm going to put everything in my DBAS. Let's say push, say perform an operation on a table and I will use insert. I have a schema called system wherein I have created a table called YouTube playlist wherein I have three columns. Sorry, YouTube playlist, import tables. If you see, I have three columns here. One is called playlist ID, title, and description. And you see here, I have everything here in the response, the ID is the playlist ID and then I have a title and the description. Okay. Next and then finish. Now I'm going to map everything. So fetch playlist response, response wrapper. So I'm going to map this item to this YouTube playlist and ID to playlist ID. And then under a snippet, I have the title. I have the description and validate and close. I'm going to put our tracking here, start time and then save. That's it. Let's try to activate this integration and run and see what happens. Let me do this now, submit now. Go here and see. In progress.
uh, looks like there's some problem at the database and, and it is not able to push it. But if you see the activity stream, the message sent to patch playlist, message received from patch playlist. If I go to the message, you can see the first playlist, the Oracle cloud infrastructure getting started. If I copy and then I search it here, you see the Oracle cloud infrastructure getting started playlist is here and the complete description. Similarly, if I show you the second, the Okay, not this one. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI, the second playlist title. If I again search it here, you can see Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI. And the third playlist is Oracle Process Cloud Service. So all the playlists which I have there in my YouTube channel, all has been fast. It is trying to push the data into this guy to the DB, but looks like there's some problem during connecting to the DBS, that's fine. And you see the playlist ID, the title, the mapping, which we did, and the description all are here. So when the DB CS instance will be up, all the data will go in the database instance. So this is how you can fetch the Google YouTube playlist in Oracle integration and push it into your database. So that is all about this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. You can always watch my blog https://taxsupper.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye